The Russian state circus company presents a documentary project. Circus as art in a single take. The Circus Ring. As a child, I dreamt of performing here. I think that everyone who ever performed in the circus believes that this is a holy place. When you are a part of the circus community, you must serve the circus honestly, faithfully and selflessly, because this is where art is born. What you see here seems almost incomprehensible to your eyes. Here you feel deep inside what it's like when your heart skips a beat or when you suddenly can't breathe for a second. We first come to the circus when we are still very young. Then we grow up and bring our children and grandchildren to the circus. What is it that attracts us to this place? Circus performances are for the brave and the strong. This art form brings together many different genres and some daring experiments. A circus show is a combination of a theatrical performance, a variety show and an athletic event. The great Federico Fellini once said, and I quote, the circus is the foundation of all arts because circus performances encompass all forms of art. A circus performance is an honest art form. You can't deceive anybody and you have to give it all you've got. Either you perform the trick or you don't. When I say honest, I mean very frank and straightforward, with no false notes or lies. It is that sincerity that our audience values. We love the circus. It's dazzling and so much fun. Each performer is different. My son loves his head off and I clap like crazy. And the tickets aren't too expensive either. It's so spectacular. The costumes are great, the performances are marvellous, and the performers are just fantastic. And the mood here, well, you leave here inspired. It's incredible. I love Russian performers. Some foreign performers are good too, but I really like our Russian performers best. I just love Russian circuses. After you have spent several decades of your life doing circus performances, you know very well where its magic lies. The circus is a living art. Whatever happens in the ring, all the sounds and lights, everything must be live and lively. A circus performance must be a celebration, and everything must happen right there, right then. You can't have takes here as you would in the movies. You hit the trampoline, you take flight, and there's just a single moment. It's a live show. No matter how old you are when you come to the circus, you will learn something. If you observe something happening right before your eyes, you learn better than when you just learn it secondhand from someone else. When someone tells you that someone can do something unimaginable, it's either rumors or gossip or the truth. But when you see something with your own eyes, you get inspired, you learn something new, you educate yourself. I think the most grandiose thing for the circus is a stunt, the highlight of the act. This is what the audience is looking forward to. This is what the circus performance is based on. This is what is important. A stunt is the centerpiece of it all. The audience today doesn't want to see just a collection of stunts, even ones that are deadly and risky. People want to show a breathtaking performance with state-of-the-art technologies. Lighting, sound, props, costumes, everything must be world-class. The circus has a need for technical things. 
electronics, equipment, technical devices, so that each show can be truly surprising. Our future lies in a symbiosis. Joint promotion of venues, better services at these venues, and better quality programs. That's where our future lies. The circus is always in need of state support. It's only with the support of the state that we can achieve our goals of helping to educate children and work for the benefit of the family. Today, as it was a hundred years ago, circus performances revolve around the family. The circus as a form of art is based on family partnerships that encompass dynasties, family traditions and great love. These people love what they do. They love the animals they train. They love everyone else in the circus family and they love those they work for. The circus is a family in its ideal form. Official and unofficial circus dynasties where professional skills are handed down from father to son and from mother to daughter exist in every circus, in every genre. Of these people, we say that they were born in the sawdust. Natalia, an animal trainer, is the fourth generation of the Majrovsky dynasty. She is the leader of her own animal theater with sea lions, penguins and walruses. My great-grandparents were circus acrobats. My grandfather, Yevgeny Mykrovsky, was a people's artist of Russia, a clown. My parents are honored artists of Russia. They spent their whole lives working in the circus. And I work here too. It's long been considered that single people don't do well in the circus. Of course, families have it easier, that's for sure. They have the support they need. However, there have been many cases where people would start in a different profession and then become circus performers. Then they got married and started great circus dynasties. These young people are not related to famous clowns like Rumyantsev, Papov, or Nikulin. Yet these former theatre actors decided that of all the circus professions they could have chosen from, they wanted to be clowns. I love it when people laugh. We enjoy it. Just imagine you start your program with 2,000 people watching you and they all smile and laugh at what you're doing. <laughs> it's such a treat. And when you get an ovation, that's something to die for. Someone wise once said, risking your life for the good of others is a feat. When you turn your profession into a feat, you must be very brave. People will appreciate it. Those who work in the circus say that the circus is their fate and not an easy one either. Most people in the circus community forget what comfort or permanence is. Some don't get to know what these notions mean at all. They live their lives on the go, moving from one home to the next, all the time. We had Olympic champions who came to work here in the circus, and they couldn't manage. Why? Because we work on Saturdays and Sundays, and previously we used to have just one day off, and we'd perform every other day, and then we'd have two or three shows at the weekend. And not one of these champions could handle such a load. They just couldn't do a triple or quadruple somersault every day. Their capacities peak at a certain point in time for the Olympic Games or the World Championships. They must reach their best shape in time for those events. But when you are a circus performer, you must do it practically every day. You must be in your best shape every day. Soviet circus performers were the best in the world. If we had to showcase our strong points in the West, we had two things we could always boast. Our ballet 
and our circus. Today, the Russian circus has been working on developing new talent. Our future stars. I became a professional circus performer after spending some time in amateur circus companies. I performed at a festival. I've been doing high wire since I was seven. I've been working here in the Russian state circus company for four months and I've really improved as a professional. I come here and I enjoy myself. I feel good here. It's never a chore. Of course, I injure my legs and feet when I make mistakes, but I wouldn't change it for the world. We work continuously with our performers on new programs. In 2013 alone, we produced 55 new performances. There are always new programs and acts in the circus, so there'll always be fresh new performances. The Russian State Circus Company is the largest provider of circus art content in the world. Our general director, Fazana Rahimovna Khalilova, is now working to convince the federal authorities that the Russian circus must be a recognized part of our national heritage. A circus performer does not just do his or her work. The circus becomes their life. It's not an easy choice either. There are many trials and tribulations along the way. I'm sure you'll agree that what we saw today made us happier and lightened up our hearts and souls. Maybe this is why they say that the circus art is so powerful.